I will show you a simple and very effective way to polar drift align your Dobsonian telescope over an equatorial platform in a simple language without complications so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Using this method you will improve the performance of your equatorial platform to track the sky, therefore you will improve your EAA astrophotography sessions. In a keep it simple style, the Dobsonian power. Buying an equatorial platform was a game changer for me. Now I could watch the objects through an eyepiece without they running away from the field of view and also do my imaging sessions which I love so much. However, to do that I need to have the platform polar aligned. To do visual observations it's not so demanding, however for EAA astrophotography sessions we need to have a decent polar alignment. To use this method you will need to see Polaris. Place your equatorial platform roughly pointing to Polaris. Make sure your platform is leveled. Use a bubble level to do that. Then place your Dobsonian telescope over the platform. Insert the camera and connect SharpCap software. For this to work you have to insert the camera into the focuser in a way that the telescope movement matches the camera movement. Like this example, the object is down and when you move the telescope down to catch the object, it will do a vertical movement. And the same for the horizontal movement. Moving the telescope right, the object will go to the left and be centered. This is very important to do. And you should always do this in your imaging sessions, because like that it will be much easier to find the objects. You can mark with a sticker or something, like I do, to always know the position you have to introduce the camera into the focuser. Place Polaris on the center of the screen. Now do a regular live stack with 4 second exposures. Click on the SharpCap Drift tab and wait 2 or 3 minutes. With my Geoptic platform it will always make circular movements. Those are periodic errors of Geoptic platform. Two or three minutes will be enough to check the drift. Now this is extremely important. In the drift graph the crosses represent the stacked frames. When you see the crossers going up that means up, when they going down that means down. However, when they're going left that means right and when they going right that means left. Left and right are switched on sharp cap. You just need to remember this carefully. Now take a print screen of this image and print it. This will be your tool forever. If you feel you're getting value from this video, give a thumbs up to spread it and help more people all over the world. In this example, the movement started a bit to the left. This is normal in the Geoptic platform because of the circular movement. Then the crosses made the movement to the right. That means remember left and right are switched and the object in reality is going to the left. So you just have to go to the printed draw with the arrows and find the arrow pointing to the left which says lift platform back. So that's what you need to do to adjust. You unscrew the leg or the legs of the back of the platform, which is the south, which will lift the back of the platform. Then you do again the live stack and adjust many times as you need until you get this. This image is the goal. We want to have this image at the end, the circles going round and round in the same place. Let's see another one. In this example you can see the drift going up and right. Crazy. That means it's going up and left. Remember left and right are switched. So now we have two movements to correct. Let's start by correcting the horizontal movement or right ascension. Again, as left and right are shifted, we want to watch the arrow to the left. And again, you have to lift the platform back. After doing that, we will now correct the second movement, the up and down or declination movement. And the arrow pointing up says turn front left. 
which is the same to turn west. Now to do that, you just move the front, rotating slightly to the left. That means the platform will make a slight rotation, but you try to keep the legs at the back or south, more or less at the same position. And after that, you will live stack again the Polaris and see if there is some things to adjust again or not. Remember the goal is to get this image. From my experience, this is enough to make EAA with a nice result. However, you can fine tune this with a traditional drift method. But that's for another video. The reality is I almost don't do that because I have good results in my EAA sessions and I use another kind of tricks to surpass that situations. For example, the technique I use in this video, you can click on the screen, where I break down a method I use to improve the AA and astrophotography photography images.